Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode number 14 of FIFA Forest Green. Apologies that it's been a little bit of a time since I've uh, uploaded anything for this. It's been a bit crazy, but we are back in action today. And it is of course the second leg of that Johnston Paint Trophy, or whatever you want to call it now, EFL Trophy. It's the second leg of basically the semi-final. Basically. A new player, Danny Bejarano, plays on the right side. A right winger, this is his debut. I think he will add a different option to Kinu Marsh Brown and he will improve the team. That's the idea. Whether it works that way, well, you'll just have to find out. This is the Forest Green team then to play this one. And it's what you would expect 4 4 2. It's Ed, Iacovetti, Byrne, Led, Robert, Furman, Traore, Bejarano on the right, James and Church up front, of course, Russell in goal too. Bejarano on the right, Robert on the left. There's no Matic Cernic either, of course. Um, new wingers, not not going to be full time. Matthew Sange will be full time on the left. Maybe Bejarano. I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows. Port Vale then line up like this, and of course Brown and Tongue in the middle. As we made note of in the last episode, they are experienced heads. It's four four two to match us. Montana on the left. Stubbs, Stubbs, Stubbs on the right. I need glasses. Forrester and Barnett up front. It. I was expecting a tough game with this one for Port Vale. But I was expecting to win the game. I've got to stress that one. I've got to stress that one. They they did their warm-ups. They were ready. Look. It looks very cold, doesn't it? I mean, I think it is. I, I can't remember when this is in the season now. It may be November or something like that. Or December. So, it probably is cold. It's raining too. Uh, Bejarano made a good start. Got away on the right. Swung in the left foot. He crossed. And James' his header. So close to making it 2-0 on aggregate. Probably should do better. Especially for James. He's better than that. Laird cross in. And yes, Bejarano should score. Yeah. That should have been a debut goal for him. Automatically now. All you guys are going. Who the hell has he signed? And how bad is he? Because that is one of the worst. Worst finishes I've ever seen. In my life. Traore went close. He's not known for his goal scoring. But that was very, very close from the defensive midfielder. Mr. Consistency, as I like to call him, in the midfield. Bejarano, though, again, he was a, he was an issue. And he, he, he made a great, great, great burst. Robert should score. A lot of good chances in the first half. Another one. A header. Just wide. We continue to make great chances. Bejarano in on the right. And how close is that? I had to pause. Pause for breath. Pulls for breath. We did win a penalty though. Bejarano pulled it away. Smith with the sloppy sliding tackle. And Forest Green had what an opportunity to make us more or less one foot in the final. Or, well, basically one foot in winning the area. But going through to the final. The EFL trophy is a weird competition. It was a bad tackle, to be fair. Bad tackle. He got a booking for it. Question whether he should have been sent off. It was a bit wide. I've still got that on for some reason. It didn't help. Rhys Murphy... Missed it. Um, James had gone off injured by this point. I should I should stress he'd gone off injured. So Reese Murphy was on. Took the penalty. It's not a great penalty. It's it's a good height for the goalkeeper. It meant at half time it was still nil nil on the night. One nil on aggregate. And despite all the chances we had, there was a sense of disappointment. Really, I was disappointed that we weren't in front. I had a fear that it would come back to haunt us. No spoilers. Forest Green nil. Then Port Vale nil. It is, it is a cold night there, isn't it? It is a cold. And he got colder for us. Montano with the effort. Good save by Russell. And all of a sudden, Port Vale started to play football. They suddenly looked like a team that wanted to win. That should have been... A, I mean, that should have been defended, first of all. But then I would also say it should have been put in the back of the net. Pretty awful volley, isn't it? Jeez. But again, they were dominating the game. They were coming forward. Barnett to Montano. Montano... Skipped away from two people, and there's Pike. Yeah. Resisting a gypsy joke. Pike scored for Port Vale, and it meant it was 1 1. 1 1 on aggregate. 1 1. Yeah. I don't know how it happened. When you look at the misses that we had in that first half, we really shouldn't have been in the position to get to get to be losing the game at all. I mean, it was, it's woeful defending. I can't defend on FIFA. Yes, 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 I know. Drop it in the comments. I know all that. But it was the attackingness. The attackingness? The attacking players that let us down here. And 
They continue to do so with seven minutes to go. Church pulled back onto his right foot, found a cross and Bejarano with a header. Not a good day before him. He won the penalty and he made some good chances, but he should have took two of his own at least. I mean, the volley was bad. The header is bad. <sighs> yeah. Three minutes to go, they came forward again. Pike again hit the post. Wonderful save by the goalkeeper who's diving around like some sort of acrobat in the sky. Maybe, maybe he's an acrobat from The Greatest Showman. He must have just saw the film and he thought, I can do that. I don't need any ropes. Diving about. I thought he got a save, actually, he didn't. He was just, just touched onto the post. I gave him credit he didn't deserve. But the players didn't deserve credit at the full-time whistle. It meant it was 1-1. And I thought, what the hell happens now then? Extra time, maybe? I don't know what happens. Well... The football fans for the lower leagues out there know exactly what happens. They know exactly what happens. I'm not going to push it. It was extra time. And, yeah, they continue to make chances. Pike come forward. Good save by Russell. Pike was proving to be a problem. Resisting gypsy jokes. He, he, was, he was a problem for us. A good save there by Russell. Actually got his foot out again. Diving about. Acrobat. This is the greatest. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. You'd have thought we would have pushed on to try and win the game. We didn't. Pike hit the post for the second time in the game. At this point, I wanted to kill him. Penalties, it was. And Murphy missed again. Laird, missed. Church, missed. Yeah. It meant Montano stepped up. Missed, though. Missed. Oh, yes, we got a chance. No. Barnet scores. And Port Vale are through to the EFL Trophy Final. It's a rare, rare stinge of defeat for us. And it means that we will not be winning a cup trophy. The league is a possibility, a very good one, but a shocking, shocking penalty shootout. And a shocking, shocking game, really. Lots of missed chances, poor defending. We deserve to lose when you look at it like that. And it meant fair play to Port Vale, hats off to them, but disappointment disappointment i actually recorded this uh, as i played the game and recorded the game capture on valentine's day so it's a broken heart for me it meant though in the end a loss sadness can we bounce back only one way to find out the next episode which will be a week today it's every wednesday now for fifa forest green so a week today we will have the next episode and over the next few weeks i may try something different until then from me to you goodbye